Hello friends, just a reminder, this recording is only if you need the auditory lesson, if you need the PowerPoint to be read to you. Otherwise, everything that I would teach you in class, everything I would tell you or show you is going to be uploaded onto the PowerPoint. So when you go into my virtual classroom, if you go to the last page where it says materials, you will see the PowerPoint uploaded there and you can just read the PowerPoint and look at the pictures yourself and you won't need to watch this okay this is only if you need it we are doing drawing lesson two today look before you leap think of the beginning of the drawing process as an exploratory process one without any single right answer ask yourself what is beautiful about what i'm seeing is the quality of the light special is there a repeating shape or angle? Artistic vision does not always happen instinctively or easily. It takes an enormous concentration and an act of the will. Find an object in the room and ask yourself, what is beautiful about what I am seeing? Is the quality of the light special? Is there a repeating shape or angle? Try squinting. Looking in a physically different way can also be helpful in breaking you of your preconceived visual notions. Half closing your eyes lessens the amount of light hitting your retina and simplifies the visual information. It sifts the more significant data from the smaller distractions. The most critical information lies in the biggest shapes and those become clearer when squinting. Can you see simple shapes um, of the object you chose when you squint? What are they? Forming one essential vision. A great artist can turn even the most mundane subject into a revelation, not by recording every detail, but by making careful choices that create patterns that guide the eye of the viewer through the piece. Much of the lasting power of art comes not from the obvious content of the image, but from the more subtle impact of harmoniously arranged lines, values, and colors. Reserve the beginning of the drawing almost exclusively for pattern seeking. Writers often draft a thesis statement before beginning a project, a few sentences that summarize their entire work. This helps to keep them focused as they flesh out their ideas. In drawing, similar logic prevails. If you find a distilled impression that captures the essence of your work and place this on your paper first, this foundation ensures that there will be a big supporting idea for your more nuanced observations, like creating a map using the simple shapes we found. Simple figures, such as this triangle, are easy for the eye to grab hold of and remember. The envelope or simplified outline used by the artist forms a strong, clean geometric shape. The term envelope refers only to a simplified contour of a subject. It is a few lines that form a packet containing the subject, as in the way this triangle is containing the rabbit. Now for your assignment, I want you to practice drawing your object. Start with the simple shapes that you found and map them out on your paper. I want to see the shapes still drawn on the paper when you turn in your drawing. 